Oh, hello there. I didn't see you. My name is Kevin. And I am going to tell you the story of Mary Malone, also known as Typhoid Mary. It all started in Cookstown, Ireland, where they did not have enough potatoes. Mary's like, yo, I'm from Cookstown. Might as well be a cook. To be a good cook, she needed good crops. So she moved to America where we did have good crops. But all of the families that she worked for kept getting sick. And she was like, oh, Americans. And so she kept having to move, right? And so she would move from one family to the, to the other. And this one family, or the patriarch of the family was Charles Henry. Uh, Charles Henry Watkins. And he was like, yo, Mary, do you want to come and cook for me while I'm on vacation at this island? And she said, you know what? I've never been on vacation before. I've never been to Oyster Island. I will go with you to Oyster Island. Well, pretty soon, the daughter gets sick. And then her sister gets sick. And then they start all over the place. They start on the walls, they start on the ceiling, they start on the floor. Literally the entire place is covered with diarrhea. And so they're like, why are these people diarrhea everywhere? We gotta, you know, get some professionals involved here. And the public health department sends out this guy who is a professional... What is it? Sanitation engineer? Sanitation engineer. And his name happens to be George Sober. <laughs> and he's like, how are all these people getting typhoid at Oyster Bay? Because <laughs> nobody gets typhoid at, at Oyster Bay, right? You guys know that. Oh. <sighs> so I guess I'm gonna have to actually do my job and investigate this situation. And so he searches through the archives that they had back then. And he sees that basically there's all of these outbreaks of typhoid. And the one thing that they all have in common, and this is where the light bulb, the light bulb goes off in his head, is that they all had, or they all employed the same cook. And this cook happens to be, you guessed it, Mary Malone, also known as Typhoid Mary. And so he's like, Mary, you're sick as f and I, I know what you're doing. You're, you're, you're getting people sick. You're not washing your hands after you take a shit, and you're getting shit all in people's soup and their dessert. And to know it, I need to get some of your And Mary is just like, I am completely healthy, George. So get the out of my house. I am not giving you any of my bodily fluids or I will stab you with my favorite fork. And so he runs away, obviously, like any smart person would do. And the police come, they come to the house, but... Mary saw them coming. And so Mary goes and hides. Mary is able to hide for like five hours in the same closet. They're like, oh, I don't know where she is. She's not in the living room. She's not in the kitchen where she should be because she's a cook. And the cop sees the dress, right? She's like, that looks like a girl's dress. And Mary is a girl. And Mary's just like, oh, nuts, they found me. <laughs> and they get her <laughs> and uh, they bring her to like the prison hospital. And when she's in the hospital, they force her to in a cup. <laughs> they take this cup full of shit and they run their science tests on it. And they find out that, yeah, dude, there's definitely typhoid in this shit. And they sent her back to Brother Island and uh, that's when she died. And that's, that's the end of the story. She died on the island with asymptomatic typhoid. <laughs> that's it.